Hey guys, Marco here from Aviero Life CS. Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought about putting this video together for you to talk about the tables we have for the performance in flight for unreliable airspeed. We will be talking about these tables next week when we review the non-normal checklist. So I thought it could be a good idea for you to see them before we talk about the non-normal checklist. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's have a look to the tables we have. We have a table for a climb. You can see a speed 280, a max 76, flaps up, set max climb thrust, and it goes up to 40,000 feet. You see the pitch altitude and the vertical speed in feet per minute. Here we have the weight of the airplane. So you can cross check with your weight what you should get for pitch altitude or vertical speed at these altitudes. Then we have the cruise table, max 76, 280 knots, flaps up, percent N1 for level flight. It goes from 15,000 to 40,000 feet. And then you can see the table for descent, max 76, 280 knots, flaps up, set idle thrust. And then we have the holding table, BR40 plus 70, flaps up, percent N1 for level flight. For the terminal area at 5,000 feet, we have different tables depending on the airport altitude. And this is percent and one for level flight. This one is for minus 2,000 feet. Then we have for minus 1,000 feet. And we'll continue until we reach this table here for terminal area for an airport altitude of 14,500 feet. For our video next week, we will be using this terminal area, 5,000 feet and airport altitude sea level since we will be taking off from uh, Dubai International Airport. For the final approach, where we also have uh, different tables depending on the airport altitude. Uh, same thing, it goes from minus 2,000 to 14,500. And this assume a final approach of 1,500 feet, gear down, percent and one, four, at three degrees glide slope. We also have the go around table, assuming flaps 15, gear up and set go around thrust. Same thing, it goes from minus 2,000 to 14,500 feet. We have the max climb percent and one based on engine bleed for packs on or off and anti ice off. And we have an N1 percentage adjustment for engine bleeds. Lastly, we have the go around N1 table based on engine bleed for packs on, engine and wind and the ice on or off. And we have the same adjustments here for engine bleeds. Okay, guys, that's the end of this short video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now. Don't forget to hit that bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. If you think these videos could be useful for somebody else, please share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. So next week, we will talk about the unreliable airspeed non-normal checklist. Until then, please take care and hope to see you soon.